Hello and welcome here. The perfect beginning of the Batman 2 would shock viewers by putting an end to Paul Dano's Riddler. The Dark Knight, directed by Christopher Nolan, features an intensely compelling opening scene that expertly exposes the Joker's unrivaled tricks and genius. In a manner similar to Matt Reeves' The Batman, the audience is initially given a peek of the Riddler's deranged mind before Robert Pattinson's Batman delivers an engrossing monologue that transports viewers to the seedy side of Gotham. A fascinating behind-bars exchange between Barry Cogan's rictus grin Joker and Paul Dano's Riddler may be seen in the Batman post credits sequence. The two's friendly banter quickly develops into a terrifying collaboration, indicating that the villains may work together in the Batman 2. The Riddler-Joker connection is likely to be far more nuanced and unpredictable than may be expected, though, given how the Batman's Joker deleted scene depicts an extremely condescending and playful Joker. The opening sequence of the Batman the 2nd of May wonderfully capture this relationship by showing the Joker ruthlessly murdering the Riddler. This would not only disprove all the theories about the movie's plot and the probable Joker-Riddler alliance, but it would also fit with the Joker's villainous character and inferred past in the deleted scene from the Batman. Additionally, it would support the Joker's portrayal as an agent of disorder at its core. Although the Joker's appearance in the Batman is brief, his motivations and actions suggest that he will be just as unpredictable and horrifying if not more so than his past iconic iterations. Because of this, it would not be out of character for him to abruptly murder Riddler early in the Batman 2. The Joker is interesting because of his erratic behavior, but what gives him true depth is his complex connection with Batman. The deleted scene from the Batman shows that the Joker and the Dark Knight are somehow dependent on one another despite their negative sentiments for one another. The Joker may reveal elements about his nature from just one glance at Robert Pattinson's Batman that perhaps even Alfred is unaware of. The Riddler, in contrast, is only partially obsessed with Batman and is motivated by his warped sense of justice, or vengeance. As a method to up the stakes and solidify the notion that the Joker cannot be reasoned with, the conflict of interest and point of view between the two villains may be a justification for the Joker to kill the Riddler. The Joker's past may make this scenario practically predictable, which would take away from Matt Reeves' original portrayal of the Dark Crusader. What the future holds for the characters in the Batman is difficult to foresee given Matt Reeves' particular style and the obscurity surrounding the Joker's motivations. However, for now, the sheer thought of the two outlaws facing off against the Batman and developing the Batman-Joker rivalry in that way would still be a major lure. But for now the Joker murdering Dano's Riddler would be a fascinating way to start the Batman 2. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.